down here in sunny Andalusia, this is what I've just bought. That house there, the whole house, not just this bit, but also you've got the side, there's a garage there, it's next to the village square and we have a church next door, which I'm probably not going to be using, but everyone tell your own. It's a bit of a project, so that's the front door, that's the other front door. Let's go inside. It's over 150 years old. This is the uh, entrance hall. With, we believe the original tiles on the floor. And it comes through. We've got a beautiful room here. We have a, a bedroom here, all quite large rooms. Then we go through here, we've got another bedroom, which leads into another bedroom, which leads into an area here, I'm not sure what it's called, but obviously the floor needs redoing because all the tiles are lifting and it's uneven. And I have my very own courtyard with what looks like a prison, but it's not a prison. Storage room there, which I'm sure I can find something to put in there. This is the courtyard. There's a raised terrace up there, which you can get through to through the room we just come out of. And we've got a bathroom here. There's a shower here and another bathroom here. Well, that door's locked at the moment, so let's go around the other way. This house is like a maze. There's three courtyards. I think it's 13 bedrooms, I think. Not sure, I haven't counted them all. We've got a garage here. With uh, some resident lizards being in here somewhere. I can't see it at the moment. This is the back garden. We've got a pomegranate tree. It's about 2,000 square metres of land, which is a good sized plot. And uh, all these, it needs clearing. And it goes right down to what they call the Rambler, which is down there, which is an old dried up riverbed. We have another little courtyard just here. That's another courtyard. Then we've got, this is gonna be my man cave in here, which needs a bit of tidying up, but lots of potential. I love the old door handles they've got on this. Look at that, proper old door handle. Right, then we go back through here. Oh, also included in this house is a shop. But I'll take you show you that now. There's all these old Victorian beds in here. It's the house is over 150 years old. The people or the family who bought it off of, their family's been here since for over 150 years. They had the shop which closed in 1948. This is a, another living room. And this is like a museum. This is the shop. Look, it is incredible. That's little Angus. And uh, this is the entrance to the shop. And it's got all the original timber lining on the walls, the original counter. It was a material shop and a general store. Uh, it's, it's like a museum. And then we come through to here and we've got a rather large dining room, a beautiful room, with a proper old fashioned light unit. I don't know what that room is there, but I'm sure we'll find something for it. We've got sort of a kitchen and a larder. And that through there is another courtyard, but I can't open that door. It needs a, a hammer. Then we've got eight rooms upstairs. There's a light switch around here somewhere. Well, there was. Someone hit the light switch. 
Yep, yeah, there's the light switch. And just got it. This goes upstairs. All the old furniture's been left behind. Marble tabletop. And this is upstairs. It's got the traditional Andalusian roof with the bamboo on it. And we've got four rooms up here, huge rooms. And there is loads and loads of old trunks in here. It's, uh, again, typical Andalusian. No glass in the windows. But, uh, and the other side of the house is the same as this side. So it's going to be quite a job. But it should be worth it. Yeah. Okay, I'll update you soon. Take care. Subscribe. Bye. Bye.